everybody, it's Dr. Jackie, and today I want to show you how to do a basic detox bath and what you need. So the first thing you need is apple cider vinegar. You're going to need some Epsom salt. The scent on this doesn't really matter. You can use unscented, you can use scented, that's totally up to you, and some fractionated coconut oil. So the important thing is the order in which you put them in the tub and also the quantity because you don't want to put too much um, oil because it'll make the tub very, very slippery, and you don't want to put too much apple cider vinegar because it can irritate the skin. So the quantity is really important and the order you put it into the tub is important as well. So the first thing you're going to do when you first turn on the bathtub, the water's coming in, it's nice and warm and hot, um, but make sure it's not too hot and you don't get burnt. Uh, you're going to use some apple cider vinegar and you're going to use two to four tablespoons depending on the size of your tub. So if you have a standard size tub, you're going to use two tablespoons and if you have a larger tub, like anything bigger than a standard size tub, like an extra long one or an extra wide tub, you're gonna use four tablespoons. So four tablespoons of apple cider vinegar as the hot water is kind of coming into the bathtub when it's running. That's the first thing you put in the tub. And the reason for that is how the chemicals interact and we wanna make sure it has the top detoxing properties for your bath. So then you wanna take, depending on the size of your bathtub, a cup and a half for a standard size and two cups for a larger bathtub of any kind of Epsom salt. I love Dr. Teal's. It's just it smells good. I like the lavender one. They have lots of things to pick from. So that's really good as far as that goes. Um, then you want to use one to two tablespoons of coconut oil. Now this depends on the size of your tub, but it also depends on the like the walls of your tub. If it's porcelain, you're going to want to kind of go to the lower end of things. You're going to want to get one tablespoon rather than two, just because it does make the floor of your tub slippery. So make sure that you're rinsing this out really, really well when you're done so that you don't end up with a detox ring on your tub, but also so it's not slippery. Now, my favorite sense, if you're just going for a general detox, you want to do about five drops of lavender to seven, depending on the size of the tub, and lemon. And this, you're going to use less lemon because you already have something very acidic in there. So about two to three drops of lemon, and this is really good for a standard detox bath, keeping it really warm. Now, one of the other things that's important is if you're not used to doing detox baths, you want to only stay in it the first time uh, for about 10 to 15 minutes. If you want to take a longer bath than that, that's completely fine. Just don't start adding the ingredients until about 10 to 15 minutes after you get out. Make sure you're adding them in the same order. So two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, one and a half to two cups of Epsom salt followed by the coconut oil. Just make sure you have everything ready next to the tub. And you don't want to stay in it for more than about 15 minutes because it is very detoxing. So you can kind of get what I like to call a detox hangover from it. So you might get a little bit of an upset stomach or be a little bit extra tired. So make sure you keep on those time limits if you're not used to doing this and if you haven't done detox baths before. And as far as that goes, when you're in there and when you're soaking in the tub, make sure you're breathing really deeply. And I always scent the bath when I take these detox baths because I'm not a huge fan of smelling like apple cider vinegar when I get out. So I do always add oils to my bath. So just for your standard detox, like say you kind of feel like you're coming down with a cold um, or anything like that, this would be a great way to do a standard detox and kind of give your body a restart and kind of help it have a fighting chance. Or if you're just feeling a little bit under the weather, uh, the lemon and lavender combination with the three basics is really, really good. So if you're feeling really congested, like really allergy congested, kind of lots of coughing in the throat, a lot of people like tea tree, a lot of people like eucalyptus. My personal favorite is camphor. Just be really, really careful with camphor. You don't want to really use it on anybody under the age of 12, and you don't really want to use it on anybody that has asthma um, or any kind of difficulty breathing like a COPD. So that's camphor. You can find this at a lot of local grocery stores. You can also order it online. There's tons of different companies that sell it. Eden's Garden, Young Living, doTERRA, kind of everybody carries it. So it's called camphor. It's really, really good for decongestion and any kind of sinus problems. Another thing, if you're just noticing that your outlook hasn't been as positive lately, if it's the winter, if you kind of suffer from any kind of seasonal affective disorder, there's two other things that can be helpful as far as uplifting the mood in the bath. I really like to use orange and geranium combination just because I like the smell of it, just to kind of boost that outlook, especially if you've had a long day. But one of the top ones to reduce stress and also to kind of just lower blood pressure after a really, really stressful day, the other option you can use is bergamot. Bergamot's another one, it's pretty easy to find. All the major companies carry it. You can also find it in a lot of the grocery stores. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that over here. So these are the three main ingredients. Most people have these in their house, which is awesome. Uh, and you can kind of just scent based on what your needs are. And if you have any questions, leave them below. I hope you have a great day, guys.